I'm joking. Hold up, hold up, Doc. Uh -huh. I want everybody else in here to hold your glass up. Now, who's the only one with wine? That's because we didn't know it was over that much. We didn't know it. We didn't know it. You'd be a good company here. We know. You know why somebody other didn't get wine because the bottles were not open. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to thank you all for coming. What we wanted to do was to get together with some of the recipients from who will be people will be honored this September 30th, and I got on my cell and text a few other friends who are not being honored and say, come on over and join us for some refreshments and what have you. And in that group was Professor Willard, who is our principal over at Madison. And boy, are we so glad to see him back. Excellent job. Yeah, right. Over yeah. at Madison. Right. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, the <laughs> yes, the good principal. Right, right. To see her back over over so we are too at the Kingston. Uh, you all, Pastor, you know I came up at Good Street, mm -hmm. and Caesar would always tell us, wait a day. Yeah. He said, day could mean a day, could mean months, could mean years. He said, but wait a day, and you get what's coming to you. So we waited our day, and our day came, and Miss Willow came back to us. A couple of years, but she's back here with us. We're glad to have you here with yes, us. Yes, we are. Uh, Roscoe, maybe this is educators night. You know Dr. Smith, who he was one of our most effective educators here in Dallas. He's on our board, so I invited some board members to come. Roscoe, Ron Patterson, and uh, I called this man last night to be in two places. Last night with the Sports Hall of Fame golf tournament reception, right? Mm -hmm. And he came and I told him he needed to be here tonight. So he came. And Max is over here. Max is here because he's going to be our emissary to Concord Baptist Church to get some support for Diane, who's over there. Uh, that's method to our madness. Okay. And, and this is the Reverend Dr. Gregory Foster, yeah. who is the pastor of First Baptist Church Hamilton in Hamilton Park. Park. And uh, yes, sir. he's our honorary chair for this year. All right. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> the for us. and uh, I thought it'd be easier for a preacher to go after the preachers. And they usually follow each other. So he's uh, hitting up the preachers to try to get them to support us after he made his play. <laughs> That's all right. You know, about what he's going to do. So, uh, Doctor, we're glad to have you here. We want you to get up and say something to the people. Oh, that's not good. This is all due to me. You can know I'm from the south of Dallas, uh, 2806 Tanner Street. Yeah. We were brought up here in this area. <laughs> north Dallas is not that far away when your heart is in South Dallas. Yeah. 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 And I'm just so thankful just to even be here. And it's just tabernacle with these great pe people and Dr. Uh, Robinson. Um, he, he always kept me straight at Bishop. Yeah. You know, I was that last group that didn't get in. I, I hadn't finished all my hours yet, and they closed the doors. But the experience that I remember when my sister was there, and all of those great areas, all of them cars popped all the way down Simpson Stewart when they were playing football. Just an amazing experience. And then just to come down and uh, be honored. Uh, I'm humbled and I'm thankful. Now, if I talk too much, I'm going to have to uh, take mm -hmm. up an offering. So <laughs> 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 Thank you, Thank you. And, you know, it's a funny thing about my relationship with First Baptist Hamilton Park. I was a member of Carver Heights when I first came here. And uh, that church fellowship with uh, First Baptist of Hamilton Park, he was a small, smaller person. Uh, First Baptist of Hamilton Park, uh, uh, but we had some good time. So he's going to be leaving on, leaning on Daryl over at Carver Heights mm -hmm. to uh, to give some support. But his father was a very generous man. Reverend Carter was a fine fellow. Uh, I enjoyed working with him, but I left and went away. Uh, we have some of our honorees here tonight. I talked to Miss Miss Newsom. Text me yesterday. 
first she called me two or three times. So I texted her back and said, Shirley, remember, I'm hearing impaired. I don't do well on the telephone. So later on, she texted me back. She said, I remembered. <laughs> and she said, my uh, check is in the mail and the forms. So uh, she's here. Her check is here. Her stuff is in the mail. So she's very present here. Uh, the other honorees are Miss Diane Gibson. Oh, pass these folders out, because the information is in here on who these people are and what awards they're receiving. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, initially, when we started out with the M.A. Smith Award 1978, we gave away one award. Oh, can I have one? And for years, we did yeah. that. And then the committee decided to uh, honor some other folks who were doing community service. A. Maceo Smith, for whom the school is named. Thank you. Maceo was a Renaissance man. When I came to Bishop in 1974, and the president and I decided what we were going to do for the community, and we came up with the museum. So I decided to uh, call A. Maceo Smith. Because Maceo was responsible for the Hall of Negro Life here in Fair Park in 1936. So I called Maceo. Maceo started working with us. And in 1977, Maceo was supposed to go with us somewhere to make an appeal. And we were waiting for Maceo over at the campus. And we were called and told that he had passed. He was sitting on the sofa. He had taken his bath and taken a walk, I think, with the dog and sat and just checked out of here. So the next year we decided to name the Community Service Award, the A. Maceo Smith Community Service Award. Mabel Channel was the first recipient of the award. And as I said, in later years we decided to honor some other people. So we have someone in civic and community engagement. And Diane Gibson, who everybody calls Miss Community, is the recipient this year. And for youth involvement, we had a tie, uh, the Dallas, the Link, the Trinity chapter of the Lynx and the Mid-City chapter of the Lynx. And they told me to be sure to say mid cities Texas and Trinity, Texas Lynx. <laughs> so that's what you see in the thing, it's, that's the legal title. They're receiving an award, award for their youth involvement. And Desmond Blair, is receiving the <coughs> award for the youth, for the person under 40. Desmond came by to see me oh, about three or four weeks ago, and we reminisced because he was a student here when we uh, had him here for a summer camp. And I remember he did some outstanding work, and someone recommended him, and his name went before the committee, and he was selected. Now, you finished at UTD, didn't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Undergrad and graduate at UT. They mm -hmm. taught there mm -hmm. for probably about three years. And then started, during the day I do project management. So mm -hmm. I started my career there, now I'm at Scotch Wright. And then when I'm not there, I'm running around the city doing art shows and trying to work with kids and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah. And in the area of business, we have Irish Watson. Uh, who is a strong museum supporter. We were glad to see her selected uh, for the award because she has been very supportive of the museum here. And we have Dr. Marvin Delaney. Marvin has been involved with the museum for 100 years or more. <laughs> He's receiving the award for arts and culture. And in the area of education, it's uh, Ms. Shirley Isom Newsom and Dr. Michael Sorrell, and he said he would be here, but I don't know, I talked to him last night, so he'd be here. So we have a group of stellar community servants, and the brunch is going to be on Saturday, September 30th, at the Renaissance Hotel. We have a packet in with some basic information in there. We need, uh, Sonia is with Trinity Chapter, uh, the person from Miss City is not here. Uh, but we need all the support we can get uh, 
for the MSU Smith Branch. You know, we had a hiatus on the brush. The last time we did it was in 09, because that economy, that mm -hmm. when the economy crashed in 08, we all suffered. Mm -hmm. And we said, let's put a hold on this thing for a while. So we did, and they kept coming back at us, kept coming back at us about the Maceo Smith Award. And then the Alphas joined in and said, we want to help you with it. Because Maceo was an Alpha, you know. He was national mm -hmm. president of Alpha. I wish you could have met Maceo. He was a runner something. He's brilliant. Brilliant mind. Maceo would come to me. I had got a chance to work for about three years. And I would go to these meetings just to find out what was going on. I had just come to Dallas. So everywhere I can get in, I was in and Macy would come to meeting. Most time he was a little later than everybody else, but he'd come in and he'd listen to what she was saying, and he capsulized all of that stuff. They say, now this is, and he outlined a path for where we need to go. But the other thing, though, he always had his check with him. He was involved in a lot of stuff. And a personal story about Macy, I stayed in touch with his wife, Fanny. And every Christmas I would go over to Fanny's house to take a poinsettia to her, to Miss Curry, and a few other ladies who had been kind to me. And uh, one Christmas I went over and Fanny was stirring around in the house and the phone rang. And she said, honey, get the phone. So I got the phone and on the other end of the phone, the person said, I speak with Fanny. They're a good marshal. She said, call Fanny every time. Maceo and Thurgood were very close. You know, Thurgood really started his career, his reputation, by taking a case that was in Dallas. You remember the Porter case when the man was thrown down the stairs? Mm -hmm. Maceo was working for the defense fund, and he saw this, and he said, oh, I'm interested in this. So he got his folks up, came down, hooked up with Maceo. Mm -hmm. And uh, Thurgood was doing what he's supposed to do, which is an NAACP graduate. And it was Maceo who was putting the heat on Thurgood to make him do some things. Mm -hmm. This is documented. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that was Maceo. He knew how to get things done. And so the award is named for a Maceo Smith. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. This is a replica of the piece of sculpture that you have out front of the museum. George Smith, who is a retired professor from Rice University, did this sculpture. It's outside, it's a big piece, it's called a Nomo mask. And it's an abstraction of a Dogon figure. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you look at a Dogon figure, and you see the statue with a person is sitting, stoop, that's when those arms are raised up on that piece. So you can see carried out throughout of our building. So each honoree will get this. This is a replica, a piece of sculpture of uh, the normal mask out there. Uh, I talked to the daughter today, and she promised me the sculpture will be here. But in addition to that, each honoree <coughs> will receive a medallion with Maceo, uh, an image of Maceo on it. Mm -hmm. So you get the gold medallion this year. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> Ron? Did I get Ron is treasurer of our board, he's a board member too. Ron has been working hand in hand with us with the MSU Smith Award. Did I forget anything? Uh, no, I don't think so, Doc. Uh, I, just hearing the reports, I think uh, the support for the uh, branch has been pretty, uh, pretty good so far, hasn't it? Well, we've been getting some ads. There's a young man named Andre Turner who takes no prisoners. And we put him on ads, so he's been getting the ads in. And he said, I talked with him this afternoon. He has to go home to Seattle to be with his mother, who's having some surgical procedures, but he'll be back. And he said, just send me your spreadsheet, and those who didn't take ads, whom I told to take ads, they're going to have to buy some tickets. So just send me the list. So we're optimistic, and we need you to help us. If you know groups of people who know these people who are being honored, or friends who need to be here, family members, let us know. And you can copy this stuff. As, make as many copies as you want. There's no copyright on this. Hmm. <laughs> so you can uh, cop, use as many copies as you want to. And can we invite people as well? I'm sorry? Can we invite people? We can yeah, invite $75 people. a ticket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want you to invite as many friends and folks as you can. Okay. The motor area. Facebook. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I was. That's what yeah, it's a fundraiser. Okay. It's a fundraiser for the museum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to ask Sonia, Iris, Dasman has had his say. Marvin, mm -hmm. Diane, you all want to say something in 25 words or love? <laughs> I'm good. Just good evening. And look forward to seeing you all on the 30th. Okay. Marvin? I'm very honored to, to receive this award. Uh, a lot of my research has been on A. Maceo Smith and the things he did with the Dallas Negro Chamber of Commerce. And so it's just, uh, I mean, it's, it's apropos, and I just feel great being, receiving the award. Fanny had promised me Maceo's papers over and over and over. But when Marvin came on, he was an alpha. The papers came right away. <laughs> <laughs> so Marvin, Marvin yes. has worked here with us. Uh, Marvin started off as a volunteer. I remember when he first came, listen, we were at Bishop, and I used to meet all of the volunteers. Yeah. Well, this time, I had to go somewhere. And so the staff met, and so when I came, they said, oh, the volunteers. Came. And I said, oh, what did she say? What did they say? It's not a she, it's a he. And Marvin was one of our first male volunteers. 1985. Oh, <laughs> 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 what is that, and 30 years? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And been with us, went over with us from there. Yeah. Uh, Irish? Uh, oh, Sandra. Sonia. Well, just on behalf of Trinity Chapter, I would like to express our appreciation for the African -American, uh, African American Museum selecting Trinity Chapter to be one of the honor honor honorees. And just want to congratulate all the other honorees, and we look forward to being there. Mm -hmm. We the have Trinity our chapter members who will be present. The Trinity Chapter is one of the six chapters of the North Texas Cluster that supports us for the Scott Joplin Chamber Orchestra, mm -hmm. which comes to us every year. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be the third year on that coming, so that chapter has been very supportive of us uh, with that effort. We appreciate that, Sonia. And Sonia and I have a special co connection because she went to Southern University. <laughs> Law school. <laughs> that. <laughs> so that's special. Okay. Mm. Irish? It's an honor for me to be receiving one of the, for me to be one of the honorees receiving this award, um, especially since I'm getting it for doing what I love doing the most, volunteering. <laughs> I get joy out of volunteering and giving back. Desmond, any final words? I just want to say I'm honored to. Um, it's just, you know, it's a privilege to be acknowledged, you know, and uh, it's encouraging. Um, and it gives you the encouragement to just keep going. So mm -hmm. I feel honored to be here with everybody else and be recognized amongst, I mean, feel bad. I'm in a polo. That <laughs> 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 uh, was involved over with the South Dallas Culture Center. Yeah. One of Vicky's boys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Mama Vicky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you go to school uh, other than uh, UT? Where did you go to elementary school? Uh, I graduated from Skyline. Okay. So Skyline. Where did you go to elementary school? Uh, mm -hmm. Runyon. So I was in Pleasant Grove, actually. And somehow, I, know, I don't know how my mama found Miss Vicky. Because we actually lived over off of Dolphin, and then we moved to Pleasant Grove. But somehow I know that she got a hold of that uh, summer program. I was about nine or ten years old, mm -hmm. and connected with Miss Vicky, and you know, yeah. she dropped me off to her, and she whipped me in the shape. <laughs> <laughs> She's done an excellent job over at that South Dallas Coast. Well, uh, I want to thank you all for coming. I uh, wanted you to meet each other and to know each other. All of you know Shirley, and you know Michael, too. Uh, but I don't think any of you knew each other as much as you know the other people. And uh, Miss Willard, Mac, Roscoe, Ryan, Dr. Foster, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Thank you. So we're going to leave here. Hey, good evening. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to the uh, reception for the Texas Black Sports Hall of Fame so, uh, Lois West Senior Celebrity Golf Tournament. Uh, this, golf, this reception is designed to bring all of the uh, people that are going to play in the tournament one that are interested in playing, uh, to come out and fellowship and 
sign up and get ready to play for, in a tournament, which which takes place September 22nd in Cedar Crest, God um, any, any, if, any questions that you might have about the tournament, like fees and, and so forth, you can, uh, you can contact uh, myself, Abram Young, you can call over to the African, uh, African American Museum and, uh, and then get that information. And if you want to sign up right now, you can, you can, you, you can come down to uh, the Pelican House in Jacksonville and sign up. Our team is going to be uh, $600, our individual is $150. We have a silent auction. We have, we got great prizes. Uh, we have great raffle uh, trophies. Uh, we're gonna have a good time. We'll have we'll have a, a full breakfast before before the tournament, and then we'll have a full lunch. And, uh, one of the one of the young men that's uh, that's been very instrumental in assisting us in getting the golf tournament together. Mr. Royce West Jr. and I like for Royce West Jr. to sit. Thank you, Mr. Young. Uh, you know, when Dr. Robinson came to us uh, with this idea. Uh, myself and my father, we were very excited uh, to be a part of uh, history, to be a part of the, the Texas Black Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, to add to that legacy was, was definitely our, our honor. Uh, working with Mr. Young has been a uh, definitely a, a, a great uh, opportunity. It's been a great experience. Uh, uh, the West family is just pleased to be a part of this. Uh, we're going to play some great golf on the 22nd. Uh, we, we have that legendary Cedar Crest. Uh, with a great cause, with a great organization behind it. So uh, please come out and support this event. Uh, support the hall because it's a hall. It's the Texas Black Sports Hall of Fame. It's our hall of fame, and, uh, and it's for our community. And so come out, support, be a part of the fellowship and the good time. And we look forward to seeing you on the 22nd. Okay, this this tournament would not be would not be successful without the hard work and uh, uh, golf golf tournament committee that we have. And we have Mr. Herman Manning. Uh, Herman is a, has his own insurance agency. Uh, Mr. Eugene Young. Mr. Eugene Young is also an inductee into the Texas Black Sports Hall of Fame. Ms. Terry Smith also has her own business, Century 21. Uh, Mr. Albertus, Albertus Lewis, a retired post office employee and uh, also a part of Team Pops. Uh, Mr. Daryl Arnold and Mrs. Carol Lewis. Now, Carol has uh, several jobs. I'm not exactly sure what her job is. She, she, she has all of the jobs over at the African American Museum. So this is the hard-working Texas Black Sports Hall of Fame uh, Royce West Celebrity God Tournament Committee. Thank you. And, and I had an opportunity to leave out someone. Our honorary chairman is J.W. White, uh, the first uh, African American Pro at Cedar Crest. JW, we just talked with him on yesterday and he's still out there shooting his age. He, <laughs> says, he, he said he's enjoying himself. So, so let's, uh, we'd like to thank uh, the Pelican House for uh, hosting us with this nice event. Uh, uh, the Pelican House, uh, uh, a staple in Duncanville now, great food. Uh, great owner Lewis, who's an uh, 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 alumni of Southern University, uh, my, alum, my, my, my college, Dr. Robinson's college. Uh, and we'd like to thank uh, Sam Brown with BMA. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, Western Associates, uh, uh, Royce West, uh, and, and everyone else that participated. So come on out and be part of history, and thank you very much.
Thank you guys for inviting me out. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for coming out. I'm oh, yes. Julius. Hey, Julius, how you doing? This is my four children, Justice, Tanaya, Elijah. Come on, man. I won't buy it. Trust me. <laughs> and this is Soraya. Hey, how y'all doing? So what grade you Yeah, uh -huh, yeah, right here. Uh huh. Yeah. Stop saying you're like you <laughs> See, I thought y'all were a little older and stuff. I'm getting ready to check ID. <laughs> so y'all doing good in school? Yeah. I had a good You had not went to school yet? So why haven't you gone to school yet? I'm going to school out this training day. Oh, okay. So everybody else started already. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Famous dancer. Famous dancer? Okay. How about you? It's it's Who? It's a singer? Nah. Chef. Oh, girl. <laughs> Let me shake your hand. My daughter want to be one, too. What so uh, we'll get you enrolled in the Culinary Institute of America, okay? <laughs> yeah. Can How about you, young man? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, how you doing? What do you want to do? You haven't thought about it yet? You don't know? I know. Oh, where you going? I don't know. Oh. Hello. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, Christina. Yeah. 
Everybody got these stars on, gotta say something. We got some young folk, I want them to picture with you all. Come on. So first of all, uh, I want to thank everybody that invited us out here. And uh, I want to thank uh, Mr. Jackson personally for giving up his time to come back and uh, he understands what it takes and how the village needs to come back to America. So our youth will have a future. So uh, this is all about the young people this weekend and what we need to do to help them out and uh, start to get them back in school and get their school supply, but also talking to them throughout the weekend. So sir, thank you very much for being here. Cool. Jackson, we got General Dick, we've got so many people out here just want to help out our youth. I spent 25 years in the Special Forces. Uh, it's a proud day to be here with you. I want to say thank you for each and every one of you walking through the mall, helping black businesses. Uh, we want to just say thank you uh, to each and every one of you. GSR High School Life, founding William Day. Yeah, and also too, like I'm with the Will with GSI High School High Sports Talk, I'd like to thank Tito, Terry, because if it wasn't for these guys, one of the nice things that i like to say is I asked Tito, General Dix, all these guys at the last minute, no problem. Anything I did for the kid, Tito been up all night in the studio, and he knew what he got to do to come out here to represent General Dix the same thing. General Dix was telling me right before he came in, when he came in, he was on his way to the airport, he was done in the light and everything else. He, he still was able to make it come in. So that's one thing that I like about these guys and the dedication. Now, they try to let you guys know that there is something that you guys' kids can able to do. I mean, we don't want you to think that everything negative out there is negative. Look at the positive. These guys are prime examples of what that does. Everything out there that, you know, is possible and um, you just need to be able to take care of. Okay? And these guys are the prime example. I'm glad these guys came. I'm glad these guys have been, you know, coming for you guys and your kids and whoever else is out there. Because us as being black, we need to start showing a positive um, inspiration and everything. Because we can't make it if we try. That's right. That's right. Yeah. has gotten, just received, genius status. Wow. Wow. We're trying to get her into a perfect school with DISD for STEM because she's got genius status. Ooh. She Good. just received that. Right. so hard to make sure that every time a student arrives here at 8 or 8 30 in the morning he's here to receive them they walk them hand in hand up to the registration desk so that they check in he's on them all day all day until three o'clock when the parents pick them up we wouldn't have made it without them. Four kids, y'all. Yeah, these are my four babies right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my genius, baby. And I'm taking all y'all pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I think none of you have, I, don't, I know you do, but the, the impact that you're making with these young men and young boys and girls here is. <laughs> it's unbelievable. My husband, Mr. Fred A. Jones. Yeah! That's yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, that's good. 
So I just want to say thank you so much. And we're so elated that you're here. I mean, Council, I guess no, but we are just happy. We're yeah. really happy that you brought this. Miss Pemberton, you know, she makes it rock. Maybe us today, because those are all my rock and not buttons. So I just want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you. You mean so much to us. And my babies here, they can soar to whatever heights they can. I'll be here for the last, um, and our motivator are moving us around, so we're going to leave a little early. We have a place for you. We've got to take care of our lives. You know they've been going all day. We haven't eaten anything, so we got to eat something. You still won't say anything? You're still not going to talk to me? No. Okay. Hey, Dominique, thank you. 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 First of all, we got a great war hero standing before us. Six tours, uh, amazing man. When you say he's a leader of leaders, a uh, soldier's general, that's the highest honor you can receive. So we want to really appreciate the man we have before us, and that's General Dix.